in the weathered soils we are having further classification weathered soils means soils formed out of a weathering process so among these weathered soils you can classify it into two types transported soils or residual soils what is this residual soils and what is this transported soils so let us see residual soils residual soils so the soils which were deposited at the same place after the weathering process has taken place means after the completion of disintegration or decomposition process if they were deposited at the same place of origin then those soils are called residual soils soils deposited at the same place of origin they are referred as a residual soils next one transported soils so transported soils means uh, soils will be transported and deposited at a far away place from place of origin those soils are referred as transported soils means here the soils after the weathering process after the disintegration process they are going to be transported from that place from the origin place to another place they are going to be carried away from the place of origin place of origin to some other place they are going to get deposited here and they are going to form into transported soils so there are transported soils agent of transport plays a very significant role so let us see what are the agents of transport which are very crucial in case of transported soils so the first one is water wind snow so these are the three agents of transport which are going to play a crucial role in the formation of various kinds of transported soils so let us see alluvial soils alluvial soils are transported soils which are formed out of a um, deposition in running water in running water so the soil deposits which are formed by the deposition of the soil material which was carried by the running water is referred as alluvial soils next one lacustrine soils so lacustrine soils are uh, uh, soils formed out of a deposition in a fresh water lakes fresh water lakes so the water which was the soil which was carried by the fresh water lakes so if it if it undergo deposition and leads to formation of lacustrine soils third one marine soils so it is deposition these soils are formed by deposition in sea bed so the water which was reaching the sea the, or the so water which was reaching the sea will carry some soil and that soil will be deposited in the sea bed those soils are referred as marine soils next one aeolian soils aeolian soils means uh, these soils are formed by deposition of a uh, wind wind is going to carry some amount of soil particles uh, which were very finer in size and it is also going to lead to form as aeolian soils next one glacial soils glacial soils are uh, soils formed by deposition uh, due to Uh, snow deposition due to snow means here in the snowfall areas sudden sliding of snow will take place along with that some amount of soil particles will be carried away from one place to another place and leads to formation of glacial deposits or glacial soils
not only residual and transported soils there are further classification in the soil on basis of so many parameters like degree of cohesion or size of the particle or color of the soil or degree of plasticity or degree of uh, compressibility on basis of all these parameters we can further classify the soil so now we will see how we can classify so first one on the basis of degree of cohesion if you see based on the intensity of the cohesive nature between the soil particles we can classify the soil into two types one is a cohesive soil and two is a non cohesive soil so cohesive soil means a which is having more amount of cohesive nature between the soil particles for example clay particles or clay soils are uh, cohesive soils whereas non cohesive soils uh, the cohesive nature between the grain to grain of the soil is very very less in the soils for this example sand is the example next one size of the particle based on the particle size of the individual soil grains we can classify it into coarse grain soils as well as fine grain soils so if the particle size is more than 4.75 mm then it is referred as a coarse grain soil and if the particle size is less than 4.75 mm then they are referred as a fine grain soils so here coarse grain soils means sand gravel all these come under coarse grain soils whereas here in the fine grain soils clay and silt all these come under fine grain soils next one based on the color color on basis of color also we can identify or we can classify the soil as a black soil or red soil so it is purely on the color what we see so if the color of the soil is black then it is referred as black soil if the color of the soil is red it is referred as red soil black soil means a black cotton soil red soils means laterite soils lateral soils are generally referred as red soils why because they are red in color next one based on the degree of plasticity so based on the degree of plastic nature exhibited when it was coming in contact with water so we can classify it into highly plastic clay and non plastic clay so if the plastic nature when it was added with water is high then it is referred as highly plastic clay example clay soils or marine soils or uh, uh, black cotton soils all these are having highly plastic nature non plastic clays means uh, silty clay or silty sand all these will be having less plastic nature that is why they are referred as non plastic clays next last one based on the degree of compressibility so if the soil is susceptible for more compression then it is called highly compressible or low compressible so if the degree of compressibility is more in the particular soil then they are referred as highly compressible soil if the degree of compression is less in that particular soil then they are referred as a low compressible soils so here example if you see highly compressible soils uh, organic soils organic soils are uh, highly compressible example peat peat is a one kind of organic soil which is highly compressible low compressible soil low compressible soil means soil which is a uh, uh, less susceptible for compression or less susceptible for compressibility they are referred as low compressible soils example gravel soils or uh, mm, uh, red soil or lacustrine lacquered soils so all these are uh, low compressible soils or uh, sandy soils are also low compressible soils so all these